Hey everyone, I am giving you a flip through of this book, Jewish Poetry Writing, 72 Poetry Writing Prompts to Challenge Your Creativity. Um, okay. And this one is in color, which I'm really super excited about because all my other workbooks are in black and white. So this is very exciting for me. So, <laughs> okay, so here's um, poetry terms and definitions. Okay, so I give you acrostic, alliteration, anthropomorphism, ballad, calligram poetry, syncane, acrostic poem. Okay, I give you a bunch of, of a bunch of um, words, uh, common poetry terms. Oh wow! Okay, can you? Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that's okay. How to use this book? Okay, so I would recommend. Sitting with this book for 30 to 45 minutes once or twice a week. Okay, get yourself comfortable, get yourself cozy, read poetry, get in that poetry mood. And that's what I would say about getting started. And then you just get started and, you know, just enjoy it. Um, okay, so it starts, it goes through every month. So the first month I started with is Elul. And I added some of my own poetry here for you to read through. Um... And then there's the prompts, okay? So write a poem describing your shoes and tell about the places it's been to this past year. Hashem is our king, but he is also our father. Write a metaphorical poem describing your relationship with Hashem. And then there's a lot of these really full, um, really nice um, full-page color photos to write a poem about, like to inspire your poetry. So write a poem to go with this picture. Okay, and that is, okay, there's another one of a chamesh and then we're in Tishrei and there's my poems okay, so write an ode to Hashem about this beautiful world write a poem to go with this picture write a poem describing the sights, sounds, smells, tastes and senses you feel in the sukkah write a poem about dancing on Simchat Torah adding onomatopoeia in the poem Oops. okay Cheshvan. And so it, you know, goes like that throughout the year for each month of the year. Um, this is Kislev, which is the month of Hanukkah. So there's some fun Hanukkah stuff here. It says, write a poem about Hanukkah from a different perspective, such as a dreidel, a window, etc., Create acrostic poetry using any Hanukkah word, words, or message. And the definition of acrostic poem is in the front. And you would, you know, have the space here to write that. Teves. Tevets, I should say. Um, write any poem of your choice without using any adjectives. And write a poem to go with this picture. Now we're up to Shabbat. Okay, so it goes like that. It goes through each month. Write a poem with the title, The Power of Prayer. Um, and some of them are fun. Some of them are, um, you know, more serious. <laughs> and some of them are whatever you want them to be. So this is for Adar. Write a poem about Purim using as many words as you can that begin with the letter P. This says write a poem with hysterical laughter as the topic, right? Because Adar is a month of joy. So um, make some humintashin. You could write any kind of poem about this. You could write about jelly. What, whatever you want it to be. It's fairly open-ended. And this is Pesach. Write a sin cane to go with this picture. Okay. And then, um, you know, it keeps... It goes through all the months of the year, and um, that's basically that's basically this poetry book. Okay, I um, hope you enjoy, and wish you guys many blessings.